wide and growing acceptance of John Deere industrial equipment has made necessary a $3 million plant expansion right on the heels of a $4 million building program completed in 1959. John Deere now builds heavy-duty tractors for pulling pneumatic wheel and sheep's foot compactors and for handling semi-integral and drawn-type scrapers used in highway, road, and street construction and repair. New and improved bulldozers for land clearing. Crawler loaders and wheel loaders for moving earth and materials help the construction industry to build homes for an ever-growing population. Cable plows and trenchers place unsightly telephone and electric wires underground. Brand new John Deere landscape rakes, scrapers, blades, cedars, and mowers will aid in beautifying home sites and recreational areas. John Deere crawlers have long been the champions of the woods, bringing to the woodsman unprecedented economy for snaking out saw logs and pulpwood, loading logs and building decks, logging trails and access roads. For every need and purpose in the industrial field, John Deere builds modern, dependable equipment for low-cost operation. The 831 crawler loader is a heavy-duty machine available in either gasoline or diesel engine model. 35-degree bucket rollback at ground level provides 8,500 pounds breakout force. It has a full height dumping angle of 50 degrees and a 7 eighths yard bucket. A bucket position indicator is standard equipment on this loader. The use of a direction reverser greatly speeds up cycle time. The comfortable seat affords the operator a good view of his work. Loader controls are convenient for easy one hand operation. Automatic positioning is a feature that permits you to dig and load faster. When the bucket is dumped from full height position by using the boom control only, it automatically returns to the ideal nine degree digging angle. There's also a grading position enabling the operator to perform all types of leveling and backfill operations. A welded spill sheet lets you get heaping buckets full and load them with minimum spillage. The direction reverser lets the operator get away from the truck and back to the spoil pile in a hurry. The 831 features high bucket lift for loading the largest trucks easily. For increased versatility, John Deere backhoes can be mounted in conjunction with the 831 loader. Size and weight of the 831 crawler loader make it easy to transport with small equipment, even behind a pickup truck. When you must use a loader in an inaccessible place, the unit can be lifted to the working area with a crane. In the Red Rock Amphitheater near Denver, Colorado, a shaft had to be dug for a distance of 100 feet through sandstone. The unit had extra teeth to aid in cutting the tunnel ceiling. The 831 was the ideal unit for operation in the narrow shaft. The 831 diesel loader proves itself as a top producer on jobs where operating area is restricted. With a 71 wheel loader, you are always ready to load trucks, excavate for driveways or sidewalks, or do backfilling jobs. A direction reverser enables you to speed up your loading cycles. The 
The 71 is available on either gasoline or diesel-powered tractors, which can be equipped with power steering. John Deere backhoes can be mounted in conjunction with the 71 loader and need only one hydraulic system to operate either the loader or the backhoe. Controls are convenient to the operator and he has a good view of his work from the comfortable seat. The 24 Scarifier is a three-point hitch tool which can be used behind either a wheel or crawler tractor. A rugged toolbar accommodates either three or five Scarifier teeth. The teeth have drop forward shanks and replaceable points. It's a tool designed to do a good ripping job in extra tough materials. It can be attached to or removed from the tractor easily in a few minutes. The 64 all hydraulic bulldozer can be angled 25 degrees to the right or 25 degrees to the left. It can be tilted seven and three quarter inches on either side. The 64's on the go control saves time on all types of road building. The operator can tilt and angle, raise and lower the blade to meet different conditions without stopping. It cuts away banks easily and takes full advantage of the sure-footed power of the 440 crawler. The blade is engineered to keep the material rolling. This hydraulic tilt and angle dozer is tops in its class. It assures maximum operator control for precision work, convenience and lower earth moving costs. For leveling and rough grading around new housing, the 64 is extremely versatile. The 64 dozer crawler combination is light enough to work safely around new foundations, yet big and powerful enough to do a complete grading job. And what's more, it's available with either gasoline or diesel power. Digging deep, clean trenches is all in a day's work for the center-mounted 50 backhoe. A great time-saving feature is simplified two-lever control. The left lever controls all movements of the boom. The right lever controls dipper stick and bucket action. You'll have 17,500 pounds of pry-out force at the bucket teeth for digging through tough or frozen ground. The crowd and boom cylinders have two and a half inch diameter pistons for extra power and strength. The 50 offers a maximum digging depth of 13 feet six inches and features a 20 foot three inch reach at ground level. The boom has a maximum swing of 205 degrees. A center-mounted 50 backhoe and 71 loader is an ideal economical combination for trenching and backfilling. Add to it a 78-inch blade attachment and you have real versatility. It is easily attached with regular loader bucket pins. The blade is tilted fore and aft by means of the loader bucket control. It can be manually angled to the right or left 30 degrees in seven and a half degree increments. Sked shoes are regular equipment and the cutting edge is replaceable. With this combination, you make short work of all your trenching and backfilling. A 51 multiple position backhoe is available for both wheel and crawler tractors. 
For open trench digging, the backhoe is center mounted, one of the five working positions available. The 51 digs 13 feet 6 inches deep and has more than a 20 foot reach at ground level. An operator will notice the smooth operation of the hoe and excellent visibility he has of both his digging and the spoil pile. Hydraulic power swings the boom through an entire 180 degree arc. Here's a real time and labor saving feature of the 51 backhoe. One man can change it on the job to any of the five digging positions in 15 minutes or less. All he uses is a wrench. He removes four bolts and places the bucket to the side toward which the unit is to be moved. Then with boom control and hydraulic power, shift the mount to the desired position. There are no hydraulic lines to change or disconnect. Replace the four bolts and it's ready for work again. The multiple five position backhoe is designed to work under all trenching conditions. It's just the unit for flush digging alongside buildings, existing foundations, fences or near obstructions. The main frame is heavy welded box construction with internal spacers and gussets for extra strength. Hydraulically controlled stabilizers can be used in either the vertical position or angled when necessary for extra stability. They are lifted to change the digging position of the unit. Pleated pads are hinged to provide complete contact with ground. Cabs are available for extra operator comfort. John Deere backhoes are economical to operate. Remember, the 50 or 51 backhoe will fit either wheel or crawler tractors. The 230 cable plow is just the unit for placing unsightly electrical wires and telephone cables underground in new subdivisions. Cable reels are carried on a pickup rack by the dozer blades. The cable is threaded into the cable guide by easily removing the rear section of the standard. There's no need to cut or splice cable during runs, a feature that greatly cuts your work and makes for neater installations. When the cable is anchored, the operator moves ahead, neatly placing the cable up to 30 inches underground. The unit goes up or down terraces without varying the cable laying depth. Roller chain sections at the entrance and exit of the guide permit easy paying out of cable. A touch of the hydraulic control lever and the plow is raised out of the ground. Just one pin to remove and the guide back comes off leaving the cable intact. The cable remains in one continuous piece all the way to the rear of the lot where a junction box will be installed. After dropping the cable reel holder, the operator uses the 63 bulldozer to level areas for cable laying or for backfilling trenches where larger diameter mainline conduits have been laid. With the blade angled, the 63 dozer does a fine job of rolling the dirt into the trench. Crawler tracks running over the fill compact the soil. The 230 cable plow is truly a unit that will cut your cable laying costs as well as speeding up the job. Trenching cleanly to exact grade level is easy work for the fast digging Auburn trencher with crummer and grader attachment. As each bit cuts and lifts its full share of dirt, the augers move the spoil away from the edges, making neat, easy to handle windrows on both sides of the trench. A hydraulic drive unit delivers the full PTO power for digging, absorbs all shocks, and regulates the rate of advance according to digging conditions. 
The trencher mounts on industrial crawler tractors as well as on the 430 utility and the 440 industrial wheel tractor. The Auburn units are easily adapted to different trench requirements with a range of digging widths from 6 to 14 inches. All will dig as deep as 6 feet. Special bits for frozen ground and extra tough soils are also available. On wheel or crawler, in almost any soil condition, the Auburn trencher does smooth, clean work. The 300 side boom is an extra sturdy compact unit for operating in close quarters where larger pipeline equipment cannot maneuver. The 300 has a lifting capacity up to 4,000 pounds and the 440 crawler has just the power and stability you need for pipe laying on rugged terrain. The 300 side boom can also be mounted on wheel tractors with a 301 bulldozer for backfilling. Hydraulic winches with a two-way cable hold feature allow accurate positive control at all times. All controls are conveniently positioned for fingertip ease of operation. The hydraulically controlled counterweight can be adjusted to the load instantly. The operator always has full control, which enables him to accurately and positively lower the pipe into the ditch. A pipe bending attachment is available for both wheel and crawler side booms. Special lined or unlined shoes are offered for bending from 2 to 8 inch pipe. The shoe sections align themselves automatically when bending the pipe. The shoes can be quickly and easily removed or changed for different pipe sizes. One handler and operator can bend pipe efficiently making uniform bends that will pass the most rigid specifications. It's another economical, practical unit for all pipe bending contractors. For lifting and hauling heavy loads of palletized material, such as bricks, concrete blocks, cement sacks, or other building materials, the John Deere 15 transporter is an inexpensive, versatile piece of equipment. It utilizes a mechanical lifting device to raise as much as 2,000 pounds. Two 3-inch steel wheels and one 6-inch ball-bearing caster wheel make it extremely maneuverable. The load is easily positioned by stepping on the release pedal. Pilot touch, or single stick control, is the greatest advance in operating ease ever offered the industrial contractor. Again, John Deere leads the way with single stick control for crawler tractors. Now, with one control lever, you can steer, stop, and reverse your direction. The two separate steering control levers are gone. A light touch on the stick is all you need. No manual clutching is required. And best of all, you can have it today on any crawler, regardless of whether it's equipped with a loader, bulldozer, side boom, cable plow, or any other equipment. With unprecedented ease, the operator moves the lever in the direction he wants to go. Forward, backward, to the left or right, then lets it return to neutral. That's all there is to it. After choosing the gear speed and throttle position, the operator moves the single stick back, lets it return to neutral, and presto, he's off. Hydraulic power does all the work. Pilot Touch provides hydraulically powered control of clutch brake steering, master clutch, and the direction reverser. Add Pilot Touch control to your 831 crawler loader and you'll have the finest digging and loading outfit on the market. You'll save minutes on every truckload.
Just think how much working time you'll gain in every week's operation. You'll do much more work. And what's more, you'll do it easier than ever before. After one trial, you'll want to equip every one of your machines with Pilot Touch. Regardless of whether you're going forward, backward, or are turning, you'll always have one hand free for equipment controls. Pilot Touch is just one of the many outstanding features on John Deere industrial equipment. The entire line of construction equipment is constantly improving and expanding to provide high production and performance characteristics for a wide range of construction applications. five three-point hitch landscape tools which are job matched to John Deere wheel tractors. There's the 265 landscape seeder which seeds and fertilizes a strip six feet wide. The 250 landscape rake with optional gauge wheels. The extra heavy duty 245 rear blade with adjustable caster wheel the 240 economy blade for light grading and leveling jobs, and the 255 box type scarifier scraper for tough dirt moving and scarifying. When the grading job is crusted over, or when there's tough ripping to do, the 255 is an ideal machine. It can be raised extra high to provide good ground clearance for transporting. The toolbar is easy to rotate from the seat to place it in scarifying position. Six teeth are spaced 13 inches apart for good coverage. Just a touch of the hydraulic control lever lowers the scarifier to its work. These teeth are adjustable to three different depths and can be easily removed from the toolbar. Replaceable points make this an economical tool to own. Another touch of the hydraulic control lever and the operator raises the tool out of the ground at the borders. The 255 makes a fine, evenly scarified seed bed, creating deep areas to store moisture for a successful lawn. The rugged 255 scraper can carry over 12 cubic feet of dirt per pass. A hinged rear blade makes backblading a cinch. The close coupled hitch combined with the hydraulic control of the tractor permits fast, accurate handling of the scraper. is a low-cost grading blade which can be attached to three-point hitch tractors in minutes. In backblading position, it makes spreading fill or topsoil fast and easy. This blade can be offset 12 inches to the right or left from the center, and it can be angled 15, 30, or 45 degrees to left or right. A high carbon steel cutting edge is reversible and replaceable. There's also a replaceable cutting edge on each end of the blade. It's fast and easy to reverse the blade for forward scraping. The operator merely pulls a pin, swings the blade around 180 degrees, and he's ready to use the 240 as a forward scraper to complete the finish grading job.
fingertip controls make the operator complete master at all times. The 240 blade is designed for tractors up to 40 horsepower. The 245 is a rugged rear-mounted blade which can be used on three-point hitch tractors. This is an excellent tool for grading and finish work on lawns. Fingertip hydraulic controls provide instant lowering or raising. Changing blade positions on the 245 is easy. The operator pulls a lock pin, angles the unit up to 45 degrees to the right or left, or tilts the unit up to 30 degrees. He replaces the pin and is ready to go. The caster wheel can be adjusted from the tractor seat for the desired depth of cut. The 245 is an easy to use and easy to handle grading blade. The special caster wheel arrangement provides increased stability for a smooth cut. The heavy duty 245 is designed for superior performance on all landscape grading applications. You just can't beat the 250 landscape rake for putting the finishing touches on a seed bed for home lawns, parks, golf courses, highway shoulders, and other areas. On a wheel tractor, it's a highly maneuverable tool that will save time on every job. Rubber tired caster wheels for extra fine depth control are optional equipment. The 250 landscape rake does an exceptionally good job breaking clods. It makes a path eight feet wide and can be angled to the right or left. It can also be reversed for backblading. The 265 Landscape Seeder Fertilizer is a multiple operation tool designed to till, seed, fertilize, and cover all in one operation. On each pass, it shallow rakes the seed bed, distributes exactly the amount of dry fertilizer and seed, covers the seed, and rolls the soil to an even, firm surface. The flexible rake fingers thoroughly stir up the surface for fertilizer and seed placement. There's a 465 pound fertilizer box with special impeller type feeds. A 90 pound seed box with accurate feeds. A spiked roller which drives the seeding and fertilizing mechanism. and a drag chain for even seed covering. Just a flick of the hydraulic control lever and the seeders down, placing fertilizer and seed in a six foot band, covering and rolling it on the same pass. The 265 is just the machine for fertilizing and seeding highway shoulders. It seeds at speeds up to four and a half miles per hour. Even when the soil is partly crusted, the 265 will do a fine job. The raking fingers stir up the soil to make a good seed bed. The special impeller feeds in the fertilizer box assure positive and accurate flow at all times. It can apply from 100 to 800 pounds of fertilizer per acre. The low center of gravity gives this machine extra stability even on steep graded shoulders.
John Deere mowers have an enviable reputation for trouble-free operation. Highway and park departments all over the country are using them for economical maintenance. The 310M and 310H are a team of side-mounted sickle bar mowers doing a fast, clean job. The 310H is hydraulically driven. It has a powerful hydraulic motor to operate the sickle. The high capacity hydraulic pump is mounted at the front of the tractor. This mower does a clean cutting job on short grass or head high weeds. The John Deere tractor and mower have extra stability for cutting on steep inclines. Three point hitch or drawbar tools can be used on this tractor when it is not used for mowing. Loaders can also be mounted in conjunction with these mowers and can be used without removing the mower. The inner shoes of both the 310H and 310M can be hydraulically raised to ride above the curb for street side mowing. Just a touch of the lever and the cutter bar can be raised to vertical position. To assure smooth cutting and minimum wear, each knife stroke is counterbalanced by the opposing action of a counterweight. Knife and counterweights are driven by a double throw crankshaft. Another mower, the 310M Mechanical, uses the same mowing mechanism except that it is driven by belt and shaft from the tractor's power takeoff. Both mowers have a built-in feature whereby the cutter bar disengages and swings back when an obstruction is hit. The operator merely backs up to re-engage the cutter bar. No turns are too short for this outfit. The 310M is a clean, compact unit that's comfortable to drive easy for any operator to handle, economical to buy, and just as economical to operate and maintain. Both the 310H and M mowers are available with five, six, or seven foot cutter bars. A revolution in mowing is the new flail type mower. Transport clearance is extra high for good traveling over even rough ground. It is an extremely compact unit that is power shaft driven from the tractor's PTO. The heart of this mower is a rotor equipped with four rows of specially hardened free swinging curved knives. This rotor revolves parallel with the ground at about 1400 RPM. For smooth operation and long life, the rotor with knives is statically and dynamically balanced and runs on high grade bearings. This is the ideal unit for cutting those hard to get places along fences, near trees, in golf course roughs and other hard to mow areas. Whether you are operating the biggest timber show on earth, doing salvage work or harvesting pulpwood, there's a place for John Deere equipment in your operation. On logging jobs such as this show in Oregon, the 440 crawler equipped with a 63 bulldozer, a gearmatic winch, and the 100 log arch have proved themselves over and over again. The 100 log arch is designed to handle the biggest of them. It increases the crawler's work capacity and saves power and fuel at the same time. Log trails stay in better condition and cables are protected at all times by the fair lead rollers of the arch. Ask the men who own them and you'll find out how well this working combination is accepted in the woods where they handle the big ones. Contractors in other logging areas of the world have also come to depend on 440 crawlers equipped for logging or road building. In all kinds of weather on log trails that are too slick for heavier equipment, the 440 with a 602 bulldozer and a 150 integral log arch is snaking the big ones to a landing. 
It takes real power and operating stability to stack logs on a landing through waist-deep pea soup mud. Here's where the extra traction and flotation of the 440 crawler really pay off. The 600 brush and rock rake fits the 602, 62, and 63 bulldozers on 440 and 430 crawlers. 11 high carbon heat treated tines may be used in three different positions. Six, nine, or 12 inches below the frame. The 600 brush and rock rake is ideal for woodlands work when it's combined with the 150 integral log arch and gearmatic winch mounted on the rear of the tractor. It's a close coupled unit for efficient operations in close quarters. Snaking heavy bowling pin maple logs out of a Pennsylvania mountain forest is just another day's work for the 440 crawler with a 63 bulldozer and a gearmatic winch. The 440 crawler with a gearmatic winch snakes from six to 10 logs down mountain trails. It's just the right size, narrow enough to work in standing timber without damaging the young trees, yet powerful enough to winch heavy logs from the gullies to the trails. Besides moving the logs to the landing, the 63 bulldozer makes short work of building and maintaining log trails and roads. Best of all, Many owners report doing heavy logging work on about one and one quarter gallons of fuel per hour. A 440 crawler equipped with a 150 integral log arch and a gearmatic winch is another ideal logging outfit. It's easy to winch three heavy logs out of the undergrowth with this powerful combination. The gearmatic winch is PTO driven. The 150 log arch and 440 crawler form a compact unit which makes logging in tight places easy and profitable. The unit can turn around on the smallest log trails. Butt ends of logs are raised clear of the ground for easier snaking and to prevent damage to trails. Loading heavy saw logs or pulp wood is a cinch with the 800 log loader. It's an attachment for John Deere crawler loaders and is operated by powerful hydraulic cylinders. The upper tine securely clamps the logs. The log loader features a 10-foot lift for stacking high loads. With an 800, the logger can work anywhere. The hydraulically controlled upper tine permits the operator to place logs accurately. He has perfect control over every load at all times. Heavy logs are handled as easily as matchsticks. Fireline plow is close coupled to the crawler tractor and raises high enough for easy clearance when crossing ditches. Dependable crawlers pull the fireline plow over most any terrain to make an effective fire break as wide as 80 inches in one pass. Because of its size, it can snake its way between narrow stands of timber. The adjustable coulter and plow discs slice their way through trash and cover to make a cut as deep as six inches. John Deere is constantly working on new equipment and tractor design to aid the customer in doing his job more easily and with greater profit potential. With such developments as pilot touch, single stick control for crawler tractors, and two lever controls for backhoe operation, John Deere is continually opening new frontiers to help machine owners keep pace with an ever-expanding economy. <laughs>